Welcome to What's Up Oxford. I'm Shannon Woolley, and I'm here today with Joanna, from, which is who is sorry the manager of programs and outreach with Ingemar Homes. So Hi. Welcome to the show. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you so much for bringing me such a beautiful scarf. Absolutely. Why a purple scarf? What's happening? Yeah. So right now in November, we have our Wrapped in Courage event, uh, which is basically a campaign that is um, Ontario-wide to kind of promote uh, the realities that exist for gender-based violence. November is Women Abuse Prevention Month, and so we are highlighting these scarves to sort of bring about the awareness and provide a little bit of education um, and conversation about these realities. Okay, and it is still a reality. In 2023, we're still talking about women abuse. It's actually quite significant, and we're actually seeing an uprise of violence. Um, I can share a local stat if you'd like. So yeah. DASA, which is the Domestic Abuse Services Oxford, which is the local shelter here in Woodstock, in 2022 received just over 2,800 crisis calls. Now that is an increase by 900% since, 20, since 2013, where they were taking 288. Wow. So just to show how much it's really, really increasing, um, we, you know, with education, we hope that people will kind of understand and there will be a little bit more conversations about these things. But I think what we're seeing is we, we have the information, yet there's still such a gap in making sure that everyone has that information. Right, of course. Why, why such a big uptick? Why, so that's I mean, an astronomical increase is, in just is. little old Woodstock. Like that's yeah. mind blowing to me that mm -hmm. this is even still a topic of conversation. Absolutely. So I think, you know, Woodstock is a very unique community. Oxford County is a very unique community because I think historically we've been very much considered a rural community. We are now seeing that it, that shift a little bit, right? Uh, we're still not an urban, urban environment, but we are starting to see an uh, increase in population size and, and things like that. Unfortunately, our services are not increasing either. Um, so from a funding perspective, a lot of these organizations that provide services that support folks who've experienced gender-based violence are not seeing increase in their financial uptake. Right. Um, and so we're just unable to support those who are living here. Uh, we also know that abuse is significantly higher in rural communities. It's actually two and a half times higher than it is in urban environments. And that's often because there's a lack of anonymity um, in rural communities, um, lack of transportation, as you can imagine, like if you're living in Tilsonburg and services are in Woodstock, how are you gonna get there if you right. don't have a car? Um, and it's just, there still remains this kind of preconception that these issues happen over there, not over here. Right, okay. So these scarves are mm -hmm. for sale, I understand. This yes. is to raise money to, to help provide services because yeah. of the higher need. Absolutely. It's just, again, to sort of highlight the realities that exist to support the organization. So uh, the funds from selling these scarves will go through to Ingama Homes, which is a transitional housing organization in Woodstock, as well as to Dasso. Uh, scarves are $35 each or 60 for two, um, and they're being sold sort of throughout the community. Okay, so where in Woodstock or in Oxford County would people be able to purchase these? Yeah, so they can go to Dasso's, the first place. Uh, the mill is also selling them. Uh, we got Whisk and Roll, Betty's Marketplace, as well as Hometown Styles. Okay, and for anybody that isn't aware, mm -hmm. Dasso. Yes. What is Dasso? Yeah, so Dasso is the Domestic Abuse Service Oxford Shelter. Um, it's a women's emergency shelter here in Woodstock. On James Street. On James Street, right, yeah. Okay. It's actually going to be celebrating their 50th anniversary next year. 50 years, 50 wow. years, right? Which is, it, like we just, you were just saying, like, how is this still a reality? And right. they've been around for 50 years. Inga Mahomes, a transitional housing program organization, we've been around for 35 next year. Um, and yet, so it, as an example, if somebody is facing women's abuse or gender abuse, yeah. the Women's Emergency Center or DASO is a mm -hmm. place where people can escape and yes. have a safe place. Yes for them and their children. That's right. Children are welcome there. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. And then from there, you work with the Ingamo Homes. Precisely, ideally. That is the ideal sort of transition, transition. place. Um, with Ingamo Homes, typically folks, um, the program was created for a one year period and then ideally people would be moving on into whether that's permanent housing or, um, or any type of other housing. But what we're seeing because of the housing crisis that is also a very real reality for many people right now is that people are actually staying at Ingham Homes a lot longer. Right. Um, we've had residents stay there for six years wow, because okay. they cannot get into market rent. Right. Um, 
and it's just getting harder and harder as time goes on. Okay. So for anybody that is watching that wants mm -hmm. to give back or to provide support, are you guys looking for volunteers or? Um, yeah, we do appreciate volunteers always, especially when it comes to sort of, you know, attending some of our events or just even spreading the word. Um, but we also welcome donations as well, um, particularly, especially at this time, really um, grocery gift cards are a huge need for both Dasso and Angamo. Um, as you can imagine, families are really, really struggling. So of this course. would be really ideal. Well, I, I, it's lovely to have you on the Thank show. So I wish that it was for different reasons and I fully support everybody getting these scarves. Raise awareness. This mm -hmm. really has to stop. I agree. Thank you so much. Thanks for being here. We're going to take a short break. We'll be right back.